No city has a rhythm like New York, some of it provided by the rumble of the subway. Today, musicians flock to Grand Central Terminal for a chance to harmonize with the A-Train. And here's Jim Axelrod. For as much joy as New York City street musicians bring their listeners. It's amazing, really amazing. They are not always welcome. I'm out of here, John. Everybody that walks by us won't just be like, hey, there's those bums again, you know? Because we're not bums. We're street musicians. <laughs> Which is why today the Sunnyside Social Club is among the 60-plus acts auditioning to earn the official approval of the New York City subway system. What do you think they could be looking for? Us. <laughs> That's what they're looking for. Only a third of these performers will get the thumbs up, giving them access to the most lucrative spots in subway stations, as well as something to show the cops to make clear they're good to go. Henry Prince is a judge. You can, you can imagine that people are going to come in here, you and immediately be relaxed and be transported out of the subway. So they think they're somewhere else before the train comes. Maybe make a Mr. Train. Prince, a subway musician himself, understands the power of subway performers to cut through the rush hour stress and lend a little lift to the daily commute. Someone once who was deaf wrote a letter to me and said, you know, I can't hear, but the people around me look so happy when you were playing that I had to give you some money. Those selected today will join the 350 other New Yorkers sanctioned to provide the backbeat of the New York City subways. And once we get the permit and we're playing at these big cavernous stations, we'll have to... If we get the permit. When we get the permit. If. <laughs> we're going to bust right now. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, man. He knows just how hard it is to earn the designation. Not just the best musicians in New York, but under. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.